Hello everyone to this screencast on Vim top features and this time I want to talk about the search. We all know search is very important. We navigate with search, we look up different stuff with search during coding and that's why you should be performant with that operation. So uh, first of all the Vim in file search is triggered by the forward slash in a classical way. So you can search for something and just press enter to lock it and then you navigate forward or backwards with an and or a, or a capital N. That's the standard way to make it much more simpler though you can map it to the space key which is a great thing to do. You can just press space now, user, enter again and there you go you search even much faster and since need the search so many times that's very convenient right I can just write something render and there you go I have again all my render words here so it is even simpler to search something if you are already on the string you want to search so say I'm just here and now I want to see all the occurrences of this string right so just press shift 8 and there I am again in my search and I can now again navigate to the next or previous occurrence of it. So that far for the file in file search in Vim. So of course what they have lots of times is that we want through search our code base, right? And let's say I want to find my user occurrence in my complete file set. So for that we use the ACK plugin that comes bundled with the Janus uh, Vim setup that I was mentioning on my blog. So you just write, uh, you trigger ACK with shift, again, shift command F, right? And then you paste what you want to search for, or write it, and just press enter, that's it. And there you have all the occurrences of the word user we just looked for, and you see these are, this is in many, many places. And these are all types of files in JavaScript here and in uh, even in CSS. So to demonstrate the next important feature, the restriction, uh, I just wrote in my CSS file the word user here, right? And in the normal case, we'll find it. But now let's say I want to restrict my search and I want to look up the user string only in my Ruby files. So what I will do is basically write again user and then just say Ruby, right? And I get back an amount of occurrences only from the user file, uh, Ruby files, right? Nothing else. And at the same time, if I know the string I am looking for is in a style sheet file, so I can do the same, right? I can say user minus CSS, and there I get just this one occurrence of the user. And this makes your search much, much more performant on a huge file set. And I think you will definitely have lots of fun with that. So that's it for the search on Vim. Take care.